Why, why is that, Julia? I already explained that to you, Victoria. I was holding Chip. He came in the room. He saw both of us together. I tried to dance around it. And you know, Mason, when he wants answers, he doesn't wait for them. Or the answers that you wanted to give him. What do you mean? Oh, Julia! You could have thought of something plausible. You really could have. Instead, you took the opportunity to, to blurt out that I was here in this drunk hunting. Anything to make me look bad in his eyes, right? It's so unfair. I have done everything I can to try to avoid this happening. I did. Uh-huh, and then with all your, all your legal training and your trial expertise, you're just no match for Mason. Is that right? If you want to put it that way, I suppose you're right. I'm really terribly sorry that this happened. Yeah, and then you go on and on about what a devoted and loyal friend you are, Julia. You urge me. You say, please, confide in me till I confide in you. And you'll make a fool out of me. I came in here to try to save my marriage, and you're on the outside trying to wreck it. I'm not really. I love you. You know, you, you know the problem is you have always been jealous. You're jealous of me and Mason. You're nothing but a lonely woman who is trying to steal other women's lives. <laughs> Business going over there to confront her at the clinic. Why didn't you just wait until she was ready? How do I know if she would ever have been ready? And what was I supposed to do in the meantime? You could have been supportive. You could have waited. Supportive? I I'm the one who didn't know what was going on, Julia. You had no right going over there to apologize for telling me the truth. You should have done that a long time ago. Some people are entitled to a little privacy. But you are such an egotistical ass. She told me what you said about protecting the Capwell name. That's because it's true. Don't you care at all how much you hurt her? How did I hurt her? How am I supposed to react when I find out my wife is addicted to cocaine? She is more than just your wife. She is more than just a Capwell, as exalted as that condition might be. She is a human being that has problems and needs. I am more than a little tired of being accused of insensitivity. I'm the injured party here, remember? Mason, you are always the injured party. Sometimes I don't think I know you very well at all. Oh, really? Well, what was last night? A get acquainted session? I'm not sure what it was. Considering everything that has happened, I think that it was a mistake. Really, how you feel? I just don't think that we should ever let that happen again. I have to go back. He's all right. Just a little, ca a little cranky. No need to concern yourself. No need to concern myself. No, he's home now, Julia. We can take care of him. I'll just put him down. Thank you, Mrs. Ah, come on, Sophie. How long are you going to keep this up? Keep what up? Not speaking to me unless you're issuing directives. Wasn't aware I was doing that. You were. I'm sorry. But she lied to me, Julia. And you helped her. That's a little hard to take when you find out that your wife has been plotting behind your back with the help of your... Your what? Your mistress? Your mistress? Is that what you were going to say? Of course not. Don't you ever call me that. Don't you ever call me that. You told me yourself that your marriage was over. Don't ignore this, Missy. Please don't ignore this. I love you. And you told me that you loved me. Did you mean any of that? I'm not trying to ignore you, Julia. Or us. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh before, but you've got to understand the predicament that I'm in. I know I was the instigator of everything that happened between us. I'm not denying that. You told me that you loved me. I meant it. I also thought that, that Victoria was never coming back. You wouldn't have said that to me otherwise. No, that's not what I meant at all. 
Do you remember telling me that your marriage was over? Because I believed it. And you let me believe it. Why did you let me go on thinking that Victoria had just run away somewhere? Wait a minute. I tried to persuade you to, to not make snap judgments, to wait. I didn't do anything underhanded. I kept Victoria's secret because she asked me to, and I tried to protect it the best way that I knew how. So she trusted you and not me. That's an interesting comment on our marriage. You're not known for your tolerance, Mason, so she confided in me. What did she want? I don't know. She wasn't happy. And when I went to the clinic, I overheard her saying that she thought that the marriage wasn't going to work out anymore. She implied it. And then you confirmed it. And I would just like to know why all of a sudden I'm the heavy in this when all I've ever tried to do is just figure out what, what everybody else is feeling before I do what I need to do. You aren't the heavy here, Julia. I'm just fumbling around trying to figure out what's going on. I've got a lot to sort out. I know that you have a lot to sort out. I do know that. And I do too. And maybe we should do it separately. Before we say something we don't mean. Because we haven't thought it out. Yeah. Well, that's probably a good idea. I mean, it would be good if I could go someplace and think about this for myself. But I can't do that because I have the Rita Grant case to try together with you. And then after that, we've got something else that we need to do together. And I would like to know how we're supposed to function when all of this is so undecided. We do what we've always done. We put it out of our minds and do our work. I don't know if it's going to be so easy for me this time. Um, I forgot to give you this. These were the keys um, to the hotel, and we forgot to return them at the desk. I just, I just want you to be sure that you know what you're doing, okay, and that it's the right thing. Well, I don't think anybody can be sure if they're doing the right thing. You can only guess. But I came into this place for more reasons than just to cure this addiction. I wanted to try to save my marriage. Hello, Julia. Hello, Mel. Good to see you. You're looking good. How are you? Okay. I uh, need to talk to Victoria. Yeah, I figured do you, uh, do you know where, where she is? It's kind of important for that phone. Uh, well, I'm afraid you're about an hour too late now. Why? She's, uh, she's gone. Where'd she go? Now, go easy. Don't worry. She didn't escape. She went back home to her husband. When? This afternoon. Are you sure? Positive, yeah. I helped her pack myself. 